Good morning and welcome to the vlog uh, from my kitchen. I'm making myself a coffee and today should actually be a very exciting day. However, I am absolutely stressed out. As you can see, all my temporary countertops are gone again and I took out all the top drawer contents so everything else below is like still there but it's just the top drawers that are empty if that makes sense. Similarly for this one but then this one and the ones below have stuff in them and that's definitely the messy drawer. But yeah let's make some coffee because I did not have my coffee station because I knew that I'm going to need some coffee and there's plenty of water in there. Look at that. Oh there we go. But yeah. So while my coffee machine is making a whole lot of noise, you should probably not have done this. So I've moved away from the coffee machine and my living room is such a mess. I just like forgot about it for a second when I did to it yesterday. This is where all my kitchen stuff went. <laughs> I know it's absolutely shocking, isn't it? It's so much stuff that doesn't fit in cabinets at the moment and there's more. I know it's not, it's not okay. And then we have all of the wood which has was in the hallway. It's now sitting in here, including like our temporary countertops, which is just furniture bolt, which is actually a shout. Honestly, if you need a temporary countertop, get furniture bolts because they're long. They're 60 centimeters in width. So they're slightly short, but they do absolutely do a great job. So I highly recommend doing that. But yeah, why am I not excited? Well, let me tell you. So while well, I'm gonna make my way back to my coffee, Essentially, the reason why I'm not very excited for this is because this company has in fact been incredibly condescending to me. Future Stephanie here because we're experiencing quite the lack of context. So today, in this video today, I am getting my countertops delivered. So in order to get countertops, what happens is that you fill out the rough measurements online, then you get a person in who is going to do the templating. So they are going to make all of the final measurements and everything for that moment has to be in place. Like all your side panels have to be on, all the cabinets have to be level, everything along those lines. So I had had quite a bad experience with this templating person, like the measurement person, and they essentially claimed that my kitchen wasn't level while it was level because, well, you know, <laughs> just go ahead and watch it. Um, the guy who was measuring my countertops, he came in and he essentially asked me who built the kitchen and I was like, oh, I built the kitchen. He was like, he only gave me a side eye to begin with and I just didn't really think anything of it because I know everything is level. Although I had my doubts about like one bit which is a bit of an iffy bit and I fully agree with him on that but he started measuring and lo and behold the one bit that wasn't level was this according to him. If, the, if there is one thing that was not going to be level in this kitchen it was this in connection to the height of that cabinet. 100%. There was no way anything else was not going to be level because I'm a neat freak and I'm a perfectionist and this is level to the point it's actually disturbingly level. I'm not even joking. Either way, he said that I need this needed to be propped up and whatever and he started moving my dishwasher around which then actually ended up bending this little piece right here, which is annoying. But I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna, you know, make a fuss about it. I'm just gonna chill because I want to get my count of measures. And if they have to leave, then they're gonna charge me like 200 quid. And he was threatening me with that. Either way, he told me to install hooks to carry the countertop as well as uh, install another supporting beam. So I did that. Um, I sort of assumed that they would do that as they installed the countertops. <laughs> but apparently they don't, so that's fine. So I installed the hooks, I installed four of them, he asked for four, and I installed one of these and I tried to sort of collect them more on this side because obviously that side has the support from there as well. So either way, thought about that for a little bit, installed it, and now you're looking at my coast dishes. And then I was going to focus my attention on this because I made sure that my hooks and the beam was level with that cabinet as well as the top level of this cabinet so that my countertops would be level. So everything was level and I started measuring out this one to figure out how to adjust it or what to do about it and I don't know, come up with ideas about it effectively. Turns out this one's level. It's level to the beam and to the hooks. And I installed the beam and the hooks to be level with that cabinet. So this has been level the entire time. So I was like, that's a bit weird. I did get a bit of an odd feeling about it, but so I was like, whatever, I just continue. Besides bending the little metal piece, he also managed to break a part of my dishwasher door because it's on this hinge that when it goes down, it sort of slides out. And he managed to just break a piece of plastic, which was incredibly annoying because I had to get a replacement piece for that. And then I needed to 
planning an appointment with this company to actually get it all installed and delivered. And it was an absolute nightmare. Like they're quick. I'm happy about it. I won't name which company this is, but like, ooh. I know I've been difficult as well because I went on a trip and I was like, well, you can't come for like the next two weeks because I'm just not in. But I told a guy who was measuring it up as well because I asked him before what the sort of ETA was on my countertop. So he was like, oh, next week. I was like, I'm not in next week. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip from my coffee and I look absolutely horrible because it's morning. So I was talking to these people and I explained to them that I can only do Mondays and Fridays. And they kept on calling me like on a Wednesday being like, oh, we're gonna come tomorrow. And I'm like, no, you're not gonna come tomorrow. And I have to, and I kept on explaining to the same people that I just couldn't do any other day besides a Monday or a Friday. And I understand that that's difficult in a way. I also see that it's quite flexible of me because I know for a fact that I can do Mondays and Fridays. Those will 99% of the time always work out, especially if they're like planning in things last minute, they don't plan ahead, so I cannot tell them, oh, three weeks from now on a Thursday, it works. They call you for like the next two or three days. So given that's the situation, I cannot be like, oh yeah, I can do any day, because if they're gonna call me tomorrow for like a Wednesday on a Tuesday, and I have an important work meeting, I have to tell them no. Does that make sense? So it's complicated. So I told them that I could do Mondays and Fridays, because 99% of the time, I can do Mondays and Fridays. This really is the video of side notes. I can do Mondays and Fridays because my company, people work from home on Mondays and Fridays. So I don't have any in-person meetings on Mondays and Fridays, which makes it incredibly easy to open the front door and let people in and get them to install countertops and things like that. Because I'm not necessarily expected to be in an in-person meeting in the office, whereas that will be the case for a Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Thursday and it's very unprofessional to cancel a meeting a day before on like a Wednesday because I have to stay home and open the door to somebody delivering a council. However, if they would have been able to book like a Wednesday, like three or four weeks from now, I can keep that in my diary as like a day that I am working from home and therefore ensure that I'm not wanted in any kind of major in-person meetings. But to cancel something last minute because they're not giving me, they're like giving me a day's notice, which I just can't not work with a day's notice on a day that I'm expected to be in the office. I can work with it on like a three week notice, but not on a next day notice. Look at this empty hallway. It's wild. It's empty. I haven't seen it empty in ages. So yeah, so that's where the trouble started. And they kept on ringing me for like different days. And I had to keep on telling them like, I can't, I can't do like tomorrow. I, you can't just bring me on like a Tuesday for a Thursday or a Tuesday for a Wednesday. That's not, I, I can't. <laughs> Uh, or on a Monday for a Tuesday, which also happened. And then, um, you know, two weeks ago, I told him that I was going to be away. I was like, look, I am not going to be in for two weeks because I'm just not in the country. So I cannot open the door. And guess what? They called me twice in that week to ask me if they could still buy tomorrow. It, I guess it's actually good that they're keen on delivering because my stone company is not so keen on delivering. They're like, I haven't had anything from them since like April. <laughs> I should probably follow up with them. So it is a bit in the other extreme, but it's very, it's incredibly annoying to get like a meeting with these people in and they run you through a checklist. So I called in because I knew that they were going to call me for Friday this time, right? Because I was like at the phone at that point. I was like, okay, look, I can only do Mondays and Fridays and I have told you this like every single time. Okay, like please stop calling me for like any other day because I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do a one day notice for a Wednesday or a Thursday. It just doesn't work that way. I just can't do it. And they were like, oh yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. So they rang me the next time. They rang me for a Friday. I was like, okay, yes, win, <laughs> I think. I don't know. So yeah, I was weirdly, I don't know, not really excited. I actually got a bit of anxiety, anxiety about it. So yeah, the guy, he rang me and I had to ring him back because I was about to go in a meeting and I rang him back like an hour and a half later. He was like, oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you. No, I don't know. We have a bed line. I could hear him perfectly. Obviously this can happen, but I thought it was a bit weird. I was like, oh no, I can hear you. I'm going to have to ring you back, blah, blah, blah. And then it took him like another 10 minutes of me like standing in like a little booth to ring me back. I was like, okay, that's weird. Either way, they ring me back. They were going to a checklist because, well, they were asking me if I installed the hooks. Um, they told me that the hallway needed to be empty because it was going to be a tight squeeze, which is also not the case. This guy was like, oh, that's another thing. They wanted to deliver my long countertop in two parts. I was like, no, no. It was like, yeah, but it won't fit. I was like, mate, you have a straight shot from the door into the kitchen. I can, if you look at the side, you can go straight through. It's not that thick. It's like three centimeter countertop. So please disregard the mess. Uh, this is the straight shot to my front door from the kitchen. So I'm now in my kitchen and this is the straight path that I have leading to my front door. And he was claiming 
that this wouldn't fit the countertop. Yeah, it was straight short. And he was like, oh no, no, you have to turn and twist. I was like, no, mate, you have a straight short in. Also, the, the temporary countertops I have, they're like two meter 40 and they go in easily, easily. Oh, the two meter 50, actually. Two meter 50, they go in easily. So I was like, well, if at that point I was all fed, fed up by the measuring guy. This is still the measuring guy. I'm sorry, we're going back to the measuring guy. And I told him, well, if your company is not going to deliver it in one piece, I'm just not going to move forward with this company. And then all of a sudden they were able to deliver it in one piece. I don't know. So yeah, so I signed off on that. And yeah, eventually moved back to time to here. Uh, this, so this guy was running me through the checklist and he was like, well, is your hallway empty? I was like, my hallway will be empty. Oh, it's not empty right now. I was like, no, like... <laughs> No, it's not empty now. This was on like Wednesday or something. I was like, no, it's not empty now. And he was like, oh, I was like, I, I, it will be empty. It's you know empty. I was like, oh, okay. Let me just make a note of that. I was like, okay. It's like, oh, and then are the hooks installed to the left-hand side of the kitchen sink? I was like, yep, those are installed. He didn't say anything about the beam that I was also asked to install, but I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go into discussion. And then it was like a couple like things that you would expect him to say and do. And he was like, yeah, the workers cannot take off their shoes. I was like, okay, so well, if you, they're gonna walk in with the shoes on. I was like, okay, like stuff like that. I was like, okay, that's fine. But he started out like being a bit condescending. And then at one point he was just going through on about my kitchen cabinet doors. I was like, oh, and I see now that your kitchen cabinet doors are not straight or not aligned. I was like, yeah, what's to deal with that? I was like, yeah, so? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you need to get somebody in to get that aligned. That's what he told me. I was like, I don't see how that has anything to do with the installment of the countertops. I was like, yeah, but they need to be aligned. I was like, no, they don't. They don't need to be aligned because I want to align them to the countertops so the countertops are in. I know everything is like a permanent space. I'm going to align it then. Because to be fair, I actually need to change a Philippines, so it's gonna be fun to do that after the count up sorry but that's why they're not aligned and a lot and, and indeed when a guy came in to measure it up they just weren't aligned and apparently he made note of that to be fixed before the count ups come in even though they're like cabinet doors they're on hinges you can move a cabinet door around on the hinge like once the countertops is in, are installed. I've done that before, like, you know, over time, maybe something settles, maybe you have to replace something, maybe a door is like a bit off. You can actually set it straight using the little screws on the hinges. The thing that wasn't aligned with my doors was that this door was pushed all the way to the right on the hinge. So it was touching this door. So if I would open this door, it would kind of take this door with him for a bit and then that one would go shut. That was the alignment issue on my doors, which obviously doesn't have anything to do with the installment of my countertops because it wasn't sticking out in a way or anything like that. It was literally just that if you would open this door, this one would go with it and then would go full shut the further you pull this one and vice versa. That was literally it. So I was like, I don't see what, why that has anything to do with my countertops. And then he started being incredibly condescending, like even more than he already was. And I was like, really? Really, mate really 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 and they need to like a tone of voice of like oh you're a female you don't understand and i was like i was like i built that kitchen shut your face but yeah i don't know just for the record obviously i didn't tell this guy that on the phone that was just what my mind was thinking in the background so that is why i'm really not excited for today i'm excited to have countertops so the kitchen can move forward but i'm just not comfortable having these people over to be fair and this is the first time this happened in my entire diy process like nobody has been rude to me because i'm a female and the only thing that we could think of that they are rude about is because I'm a female. Who knows? Maybe we have it totally wrong, but every single time I explain, I go to the kitchen, they're like, <sighs> so I don't know. So my husband is actually going to be here today. So I'm happy about that. But I wanted to share this moment because I've never had an experience like this before. And I'm also not a person who suffers from anxiety, like at all. I don't really struggle with that. But this is actually like giving me anxiety to the point that I'm trying to remove tape from our doorbell holder. Yeah, so I'm actually freaking out about it. So I hope all goes well. I hope my husband will be back on time because he had to go into the office for a meeting. So he just left. So I hope he makes it back in time after his meeting and that, me that his meeting doesn't overrun because I'm going to be shitting my pants if he is not here at 11 sharp. Or like 10 to 30 to be fair. Because I don't want to be alone with these people in my house who think that I'm a freaking idiot. So yeah, that's it. So I'll keep you posted on how it went. And then probably the next question will be, oh my God, it's installed. It went so well. It went out in out in 10 minutes. And it was great. I literally, literally that's going to be the next clip. But also might not be the next clip, you know? I don't know. We'll see. I've got more detail about my measuring guy. He, um, he was also like, oh, your cabinets are Ikea. I was like, they're all the same material. 
like Howden's, everything. It's all the freaking same. Just want to pop a side note in. I understand that there is way nicer quality kitchens than Ikea. And surely there is ranges that Howden's do or other big kitchen companies that are nicer quality. However, most of the ranges that I was looking at that were in my sort of kitchen budget were all particle board. So they're all the same material in that sense. And that's what I meant. And I don't necessarily mean that there is nothing nicer out there because there is. There is definitely nicer cabinetry out there. But the stuff that I was looking at at the same price point was all the same material. But yeah, he had comments on the fact that it was like Ikea and it wasn't to his liking and that he would never go with Ikea. And I was like sitting there like, I picked Ikea because of the top cabinets because we have a weight beam and the Ikea top cabinets are seven centimeters more in depth than Howden's, for example. But yeah, obviously he doesn't know that, but my brain knows that. But I was like, they're Ikea. Ikea has great stuff. Not everything is the best quality, but IKEA has quality stuff as well. And their kitchens are one of the things that are just quite good. And they're very similar in quality to like Howden's and anything else. And also they're quite easy to replace. Like if at one point I'm like annoyed with the fact that they're not blue, I can just walk up to IKEA and be like, I have method frames. I'm going to buy different doors and then my kitchen will look absolutely different. <laughs> it's amazing. That's also a reason why we have an IKEA kitchen. Not that I'm planning on extra, like changing stuff anytime soon, but like it's convenient. And also the storage solutions that they have for the drawers and the like dividers and stuff. It's just convenient. IKEA is just, you know, number one in storage here in Europe, at least. Hi, me again, an hour later and about like five cookies later. I know it's not healthy. And three cookies and a Reese's big, like big Reese's, I know. Panic eating. Either way, to make things worse, which is also one thing I've got to say, I'm leaving for a trip tonight, which is really fun and I'm really excited for this trip, but I still need to pack and my mind is not like set in, oh my God, I'm going to travel. My mind is set in like, oh my God, if they make a mess, I'm going to have to leave it because I can't fix it up over the weekend. So and then I'm going to come back from this trip, which is going to be really fun to a freaking mess that I then have to deal with for a week while I'm at work. So it's like, so that's also one of the things why I'm freaking out about it. I've never freaked out about something so much as, it, as this and it's, it's stupid and it's ridiculous, but like, <sighs> I hope you get where I'm coming from. Also, my hair is a mess. I look like absolute horrible. You know, I just don't feel like dressing up for this today. Like, nah. Gotta put dry shampoo in my hair, catch a flight. Cause I get greasy, greasy hair anyways, if I'm flying. If I wash my hair and I hop on a flight the same day, it looks like I haven't washed my wear for, hair for a week when I get off. I don't know why. It's probably the air, some reaction that my hair has to it. I really don't know why that is, but my hair always gets so gross when I get off a plane. So I'm just not gonna bother and wash it before I get on the plane because then I have to wash it again. And as one of my biggest pet peeves is wet hair. I absolutely hate wet hair. It's so annoying. And I can see, I like, I don't, I'm not as much bothered by it in summer as in winter because in the winter it's cold. And then if my hair is wet, it's going to get even more cold. Does that make sense? That's probably weird. But yeah, for you cold climate people out there, you probably know exactly what I mean. Also, if you shower in the morning and it's freezing, your hair will freeze. So yeah, we're gonna dry shampoo it when I leave. But first, we're gonna have to work. Stress out about coming to people, work and pack. We haven't really done the packing bit. Finally, since I never filmed an ending to this video, so my countertops were in fact installed and fortunately it all went well. It went great. The people who came in were super, super nice. My husband actually made it on time. They actually showed up a lot earlier than expected. They were really friendly. They carried the countertop in. No issue whatsoever with the door. It was just like I said, also like I showed you, it was quite the straight shot. No issues there. They installed it. They were really nice. Honestly, it was such a different experience from any other experience I had had at this point with this company and it was absolutely shocking to be fair. I'll insert some photos on what it looks like. But yeah, I was so sad to be so anxious about this whole thing and not feeling like I've been taken seriously by the people who have been contacting me and sort of, you know, kind of laughing at the fact that I'm a female and that therefore it has to be off, you know what I mean? Like it's a self build so it has to be off and on top of that I'm a female as well yeah a bit of a sad experience on what actually should have been a very exciting day because I've poured my heart and soul into building this kitchen and this is the day that the countertops come in and on top of that it actually also hurts me quite a bit to edit and watch this video back because I can just 
feel my anxiousness coming through this screen and how incoherent I told this story <laughs> and the need for me to jump in now and explain some things. It's just sad.